We have shown you some of the ugly numbers regarding last year's Huskers defense, but the pass D was one of the best in the country. Led the nation in opponent's completion percentage. 10 of the 14 teams they faced completed less than half of their throws. We're in the top 10 nationally in three of the four categories you see here. And we're joined now by Huskers defensive coordinator, John Papuchis. Coach, the pass defense obviously was very good last year. The run defense was the area where you struggled. As you went through the film and then headed into this year, what did you work on specifically to try to address that issue? Uh, you know, the, the first thing we did when we got into spring ball was go back to the fundamentals. You know, we addressed our open field tackling. We put our guys in more situations where they had to be in, in open field tackling situations. And, and that was a big part of our issue a year ago, was just not being able to get guys on the ground when we had opportunities in the open field. So that, that was part of it. And the other thing is just making sure that, you know, we, we have a good balance of, of uh, coverages that are more pass oriented. And then on rundowns, having enough things to go to where you can get more aggressive to stop the run game. What are some of the ways that you can limit the explosive plays, 20-plus yards or more, that you guys had some problems with last year? Well, the number one thing is, is tackling. You know, I think when you look at a lot of the explosive gains that we gave up, we, we didn't tackle well, you know, whether it was the first guy there or sometimes the second guy there. we got to get guys on the ground. And, and the second thing is is making sure, again, that, that our, we have enough things in our arsenal that we can be aggressive on rundown and then, you know, play coverage when we need to play coverage. How hard is it to work on the tackling without, you know, beating the heck out of your team? I mean, it's, it's kind of a fine line, isn't it? Well, it is and it isn't because, you know, the way that we preach it to our guys is every rep, whether it's a tackling period or not, is an opportunity to get better at tackling by the way you come to balance, by the way um, you, you approach the tackle. So we, we have our guys, you know, every time that they, they have an opportunity to tackle in the open field, they drop their weight, they come to balance, they tag off. So they're putting their body in good tackling positions, whether we're actually bringing guys to the ground or not. We've talked a lot about the youth on this defense. The flip side of that is that there's some chances to improve with guys who are new to this team. Who are some of those names that we should be keeping an eye out for? Uh, you know, starting on the defensive front, Avery Moss has had a good fall camp. You know, Avery's a guy that we were excited about a year ago, and uh, you know he ended up getting hurt early in the year and decided that a red shirt was better for him. But um, you know, so now we're excited to see him. Um, Randy Gregory is a junior college transfer that, that has came in really towards the end of the summer, who's been pretty impressive so far through fall camp, very athletic, pretty dynamic as a pass rusher. You know, he just got a, has a lot to learn in a short amount of time. Um, you know, I think Vincent Valentine inside is a guy to keep an eye on. I think Malik Collins is a guy to keep an eye on, a true freshman from Kansas City. And I think uh, Aaron Curry, who's uh, you know really going into his second year as a, as a sophomore from Texas, are, are going to be pretty solid defensive tackles for us. Defensive coordinator of the Huskers, Sean Papuchas. Thanks a lot, Coach. Thank you, guys.